appreciate so all of that. All right, guys, we got some exciting news. We just got a call from our care nurse and the results came back from the embryology lab. So just to, to reiterate or remind you guys, how many eggs did we retrieve on Wednesday? 61. 61. And how many were mature? 51. <laughs> 51 mature. Now of those 51 mature, we found out the next day how many of them fertilized. 33. So 33 fertilized. And, and we were worried because a lot of people were like hinting, you know, uh, what is it, quality over quantity. And we had such a high number relative to everybody else we've been reading about. And we're like, oh, does that mean we're not going to have really good I like embryos? This is not going to make it to the blastocyst stage. Um, and then here were our predictions. Yeah, so... I was thinking about half, so like 17 of the of the day one embryos would make it to blastocyst. Yeah, and I guessed like, what, 8 to 15, I think. Yep, and we got a call back. Oh my gosh, and... we were dying today. We're like, what are, can they just like open and they call us? Yeah. This is torture. Yeah. So it's day six today, and they gave us, um, I thought they would break it down to day five and day six, but they just reported all out as blastocysts. Yeah, I think it's partially because like the time of day that they uh, did the ICSI maybe, I don't, I don't right, know. Right, right. But yeah, so we came back with how many blastocysts? 16! <laughs> yeah, 16. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So of the 16, 14 are very good, and then two were fair. Um, she didn't go into much more detail regarding the grading because she said, you know, we've ha uh, the clinic has had successes with like embry or blastocysts on the lower side of the spectrum and vice versa. So sixteen embryo or sixteen blastocysts have been sent off to the genetics lab. Um, it sounds like it'll take seven to ten days from today to find out the results, but it could take longer. So she's going to follow up with the lab on the 20th, and then hopefully we'll get an update around that time if it, like, takes longer. Um, now the question is, so they sent it. We thought that they were going to tell us how many uh, blastocysts we have and then ask us how many we, we want to send off for genetic testing. Yeah. But they just sent it all. So, how much is that? It's about 225 times 16. So, it's probably around 3,500 bucks. Let's see, we're doing the math, times 16. I can't see the button. 3,600 bucks, oh. not including tax. Why? Well, I don't know if they tax over there. I don't there. know. Maybe. So, it's it's about 3,600 to $4,000 wow. um, for the genetic testing for the embryos. Yeah, so that's something to keep in mind or like ask your team, like, Hey, when you once we find out how many blastocysts we have, do we get a say? Because a lot of people are, a lot of couples that we've been reading about on like various Facebook groups, they're like, yeah, we had like X number of blastocysts, but we only sent eight because there's a price like breakdown from like, what is it? Like first five is this much, and then blank, like six to eight is this much, and then everything after is like this much. Yeah, and so one thing to keep in mind is... Um... I mean, it's totally optional if you do genetic testing. We're doing the PGTA testing, which basically just tells us if there's a chromosome addition or deletion. Um, but with that testing, it's not 100% foolproof. Obviously, it's not 100% accurate. Um, there's a lot of um, embryos that can come back um, one way and maybe not really be that way. And so it's not... It's not a hundred percent kind of thing, so that's why I think a lot of people don't feel like they want to spend the money on that. Yeah, so a lot of people opt out. Yeah, a lot of people opt out of that, um, which is okay. Um, now, one of the the things you will find out from the results of that is also the sex of the uh, blastocyst. So we will know in two weeks how many girls and how many boys. Yeah, what the breakdown is, um, and we'll also know how many are genetically normal versus abnormal versus mosaic. So now we're in a, like a two week wait before the actual two week wait. Um, yeah. So we'd appreciate positive thoughts and prayers that they're most of them, if not all are genetically normal. Uh, yeah. Yep. And then um, I guess a couple things, a couple tidbits 
is if you are going through this process and you do have some um, uh, feelings, specific feelings about embryos and like the number of embryos that you fertilize and the number of embryos that make blastocysts and all that, um, definitely have that discussion with your care team before. We didn't. Um, I don't think we um, were, at that, were, at, were concerned as much really with that. Um, but there are some people that's very sensitive topic and definitely have that conversation with your care team before let them know before if you want to like limit how many embryos get fertilized if you want to limit how many get biopsied how many get sent off to genetic testing one note about the embryos that do get sent off to genetic testing is uh, once they biopsy the embryo and send that sample for genetic testing they're, they're going to freeze all the blastocysts and if in the future you decide maybe you don't test them all now but you want to test them later in the future some of them they're going to have to do a thaw and then they're going to have to or i believe they have to do a thaw in the future and then, and then a refreeze and then a refreeze so that I, I i think that's the case at least that's what we've been hearing from the groups um i could be wrong but that might be something to think about or or you know look into and maybe see if that's a concern yeah because one of the reasonings like couples don't opt for that option is with each uh, step or each additional I don't know process or procedure you do to the embryos like in this case it would be a thaw and refreeze and then rethaw eventually uh, you could actually lose some embryos that way right right yeah, yeah. In, in our case um, we're doing a freeze all protocol because one the PCOS and the OHSS the doctor didn't want me to do a like fresh because it would put me at high risk and two we opted for the genetic testing so it has to be frozen and then biopsy right right yeah so anyways just some things to think about and discuss with your uh care team or your clinic um if if that's something that you're you're going through or you're thinking about anyways if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave a comment otherwise please like subscribe share <laughs> appreciate so all of that all right see you guys later bye <laughs> bye